Hey guys, Railroad Road Sniper here again with another tool review. Today we'll be going over these channel lock pliers number 357. You can see that pretty well. These are their end nippers, um, 7 inch length, I believe. If they're not 7 inch, they're 8 inch. Let me pull out some of these 8 inch pliers and see how they compare. Yeah, they're, they're 8 inch. These are my 8 inch needle nose. Alright, so 8 inch end nippers from Channel Lock. It's got this heavy duty rivet there. I really like that. It's definitely held up so far. Now, as you can see, these aren't heavily used. I'd say I've owned them for about a year. But I uh, have used them quite a bit for different purposes. One of the main purposes is pulling staples or pulling nails. It's really great for staples. You get down on there, you can open them up, and just get the very corner underneath that and just rock it up or pull it out like this. It's great for that, it's great for nails. Just open the jaws, slip your nail in there, clamp it down, and rock it back and forth, pull it. Works great for that. And as you can see, teeth are none worse for wear because of it. Pretty heavy duty. In fact, I believe, yeah, these, these have the uh, channel lock. They've been doing it on some of the other pliers where the cutters, rather than being two blades, it's got a blade and chisel. I don't know if how well you'll be able to see it on camera, but the top blade, top jaw has the blade and the bottom one has the chis the anvil. Let's see. Hmm, can't really get it to focus again. See if I can focus with my finger. There we go. I don't know how well you can see that. But the bottom blade is dull, top blade is sharp. And that actually does, in my experience, provide an easier, better cut. Now I know some of the complaints people have about channel lock pliers lately are they're finishing. These ones are they're great. I've never I haven't had any finishing issues on these like I have on some of my other pliers from channel lock. And they don't do the laser etching on these. It's actually forged in. So you got the channel lock name as well as the model number and oh, there you go. Made in USA. So I think that's pretty awesome. I always love buying USA made products. You know, living here in the USA, it's always it's a good product, of course. Wouldn't have so much pride in buying it if it wasn't good, but these are amazing. Really recommend them to anyone. They're not the most expensive. I've certainly seen more expensive pliers, but they get the job done. They're high quality, domestically made if you care about that. If you live in the United States, of course. But, I mean, I'd recommend them to even people from other countries. They're, they're that good. Love the dipped candle. They're extra wide for uh, you don't pinch your hands as much when you're putting a lot of pressure on them, which is great. And these things just they're great to work with. They cut with ease. They're nice and they're not loose, but they move freely, which I love. And yeah, that's my review of the Channel Lock 357s and nipping pliers. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.